So DJ Temper calls Jay-Z's reaction to say hello and Kanye West's big brother. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this out. So during his conversation with Beehive ATL, the legendary Atlanta producer reflected on the time he was recruited by the Rockefeller crew and played them a selection of beats. Two of those tracks would end up being for Big Brother and Say Hello, and Hope's reaction was priceless. And that was one of those things. That vibe was in that room crazy, man. And, of course, with Kanye, Mm -hmm. same thing. Beautiful vibe. Um, We played Big Brother to Jay-Z for the first time. You know, the word was going around, you know, the label, the Def Jam was that, hey, man, Ye got a record talking about Jay-Z. Nobody Mm -hmm. didn't know if it was good or bad. Yeah. So I was there when Jay came to listen to Big Brother for the first time and everything. You know what I mean? I mean and what did Jay say when he heard it? He said, huh, that's how you feel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, okay, you know. And it was just, uh, he, he loved it, bro. You know what I mean? But next thing you know, you know how that conversation went. He's sitting yeah. right at the mixer with me, at the right in front of the mixer, boy. He's like, hey, man, you got to look up, man. You know, I mean, let me know. Toomp explained that Jay-Z was flirting with retirement at the time, and his friend told him he needed to make the trip to see the rapper and play some beats for him that could possibly land on what would become American Gangster. So I flew up to the Hudson Hotel yeah. and, um, and went up to New York. Shit, like I said, I paid for my own flight and everything. And I had uh, top four beats that I wanted to play. He didn't, at that time, so many producers that played music to him, he had narrowed it down. He was like, hey, Toomp, all I want to hear is three tracks. Mm. Yeah, it was me, him, J.D., L. Rock, Usher, no ID, all of us in the studio. It was crazy. My and God. when I put that hello, say hello beat on, <laughs> JD took his headphones off. Cause he saw the look on everybody's face. And JD was like, <laughs> and No ID took his off too. Cause there was no ID was signed to JD at this time. Exactly. No ID took his off and was like, and I'm sitting in there like, Oh yeah. You know what I mean? This is what I do. Yeah. And his, his engineer hit me. Um, Guru. Like, Guru was like, Hey man. He's like, look back there. And he just see Jay back there. Mm. Mumbling. Mm. About 15 minutes, boy, he was in the booth. No paper, no pen. With no pen, no paper, and going that spit straight fire. My God. Okay. Yeah, Jay did it. Toomp went on to say he had four specific beats that he wanted to play Hove, but was instead asked only to play three. Once he played the beat for Say Hello, everyone in the studio lost their minds, including Jermaine Dupri, No ID, Young Guru, and more. DJ Toomp also spoke about another time with Rockefeller when he made the decision to stop working with Kanye West. During his visit to Math Hoffa's My Expert Opinion podcast last week, Toomp was asked what led him to not working with West again after the incredible music they put together for his third album, Graduation. So it's kind of like, it's that whole, whole analogy, it was just too many cooks in the kitchen at, um, on, that, on, um, on the last time. We, um, I was in uh, Hawaii, the Dark Twisted Fantasy album. Mm-hmm. Right. But, uh, and I worked on uh, all of the lights and uh, we had big crazy horns. I had my drums on there. But, um, and I, I woke up the next day, my drums wasn't there. It was hmm. like a whole nother beat, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, eh, where's the other version, dude? He's like, no, oh, not like these drums. I'm like, well, where them drums come from? They're from another producer. So it was kind of like, ah. It was getting cold. Oh, yeah, it got, it, it changed. Yeah. I was like, okay, this is how he wanted to do this. Cause you know, on graduation, what, what, it was like, with your pride, man? Now we, I wouldn't just say pride. It was a thing like, this ain't how we cook. Big this ain't how, an integrity thing. Big, big yeah. was very, because in graduation, it was it was like one on one, and then right. other producers might come 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 through and work, but it was, it was more intimate a, when about it was you what they were gonna do, right? More right. than them putting something on my track or me putting something on theirs, right? Or if but anything, the collaborative effort, like what's but what's the collaborative wrong with that? effort was between me and Ye during the graduation. That's what I'm saying. So I was so used to working like that, and I thought that's how it was gonna work, but just having so many producers, come on, man! Like now, when you look at them albums now. Look how many songs on there. I mean, how many names on the fucking yeah, credits yeah, or the writers? Yeah, yeah. Man, when you crunch publishing numbers, man, you ain't coming out with But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.